Okay, and welcome to Planet B Period, O Period, B Period, brought to you by King's Cannabis, of course. So um, here we are, and we're going to be discussing home remedies, uh, folk remedies, that type of thing. So joining the discussion on that one, Michelle. Hey, Dave, what's up? Not a whole lot. Enough. <laughs> I know, I'm like, are you sure this is this week? <laughs> I was, uh, I lost a week, I lost something, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I hear you, like, like I said, you know, we both had some lot less with health and other things in the last few weeks. Yeah, it's, it's thank God. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I was like, really, it's been two weeks already? It's like, wow. Yeah, uh, thank God it's April, though, but although we had snow. Uh, Saturday night, which was, hey, welcome spring. Yeah, no. Yeah, we we had a couple bouts, but nothing, you know. It was crazy. Yeah, I I don't understand this this whole transition here this year. It's been so crazy. Yeah, I mean, we've been really spoiled for the last few years. It's been like it seemed like the transition. It was like almost from winter to spring, like automatically. Yeah. Yeah, last year was it? Yeah. It got it was cold through April even. Oh really? Yeah, at least here it was. It was cold through April. We didn't actually warm up yeah, still. Yeah, it was cool, but it wasn't like no cool. No, it yeah, it was cool, cool and kind of rainy. It was it didn't warm up till like yeah. May. So I'm glad. Maybe I hope it warms up soon. I'm done. I said that's enough. <laughs> so stop it. Whatever's going on, I don't know. It's uh, been. <laughs> We go from 60 degrees one day and it snows two days later, so I don't oh, know. It's, it's, well, here we have it. I mean, knock on wood. I'm knocking on my head here. Like, doo, doo, doo. Um, <laughs> here we haven't had a whole lot of snow in the last few weeks, but it's just been bitter, bitter cold. Yeah, yeah. That wind has been awful, too. Oh, yeah. That's been well, crazy. I hear it was real windy the other day. Um, we were talking about just a few minutes ago about memory. Yes. And there are some old, I guess you say, wise tales. And there's also herbs and different things like that that can actually help somebody's memory. Oh, yeah. That, that's what they say. There's all kinds of um, herbs, spices. There's different techniques you could do. Um, hold on. I'm going to get this thing up here again. It was pretty, actually, interesting reading about different things that you could do in, like, the, the old ways. Okay, so, well, first of all, of course, eat less sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. okay, yeah, eat less, less sugar. sugar. <laughs> yeah. What are you people talking about, yeah? You know, um, I mean, me personally, of course, I know that refined <laughs> sugar are really bad for you, and I'm sure that, yeah. that it does it does make your brain, like, you know, go a little foggy sometimes. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it does. Um, they're saying here to try stevia, different things like that, but then you watch two years from now, stevia will yeah. be like the big daddy. I mean, yeah, you know yeah, I mean. yeah, you know how they are. They Yeah. <laughs> there was a study, yeah. Um, yeah, who did this study, you know? Who did this poll? Who did this? Yeah, they never tell you exactly. Um, but that's like coffee. Now they're saying it's good for you. They have for years now, so good. It's a good thing. <laughs> they don't have science to back up what they're saying about yeah. the sugar. They said yeah. one study of more than 4,000 people found that those, those with a higher intake of sugary beverages, like soda and things like that, had lower total brain volume and poor. And Poorer, is that even a word, poorer? Wow, I guess. Poor memory, I guess. Yeah. Poorer memories on average compared to people who consume less sugar. So if you're having these foggy moments and, you know, what they call the senior moments, you know, you want yeah. to those really try cutting out the sugar. Yeah. Yep. It's very, very good help. Um, do you on this list here, this is from um, Healthlines, actually. Try a fish oil supplement. I've heard this several times. About yeah, yeah, I have too, but have you tried it? Well, I tried one for a while, and like, it gave me like really weird breath. Yeah. But then I know people have tried other ones, just, I forget what it's called, CoQ10 or something. Oh, yeah, CoQ10, yeah. 
Now, they said that they didn't have any problems, so yeah. I don't know what's a good one, what's not a good one. Um, anyways, they, they provide both DHA and EKA with their, you know, vital and health and functioning and brain function and stuff like that. Right. So, you know, it's, it, it, it's not just a real thing. You get some fish. Yeah, yeah. Some fish in your diet. Yeah. No? Yeah, 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 if nothing else, yeah. Because I tried that fish. Oh, my God. Ugh. It's nasty. Oh, my God, yeah. I'm sure that there's something, you know, and it's also good for your heart. So, you know, that there's so many reduces inflammation. Yeah. Another thing, too, um, that, well, we'll get to that in a minute, um, make time for meditation. Now, this That's is what they say, that. yeah. This is actually, I have noticed that days that when I can actually just sit down and just turn off everything, turn off the phone, turn off mm-hmm. the TV, and then you don't have to sit in some weird yoga position. No, no. <laughs> well, can, thank God. Yeah, you can literally just sit on your couch and just kind of just sit there with, like, your eyes closed, your head back, and just, just you know, and just focus on nothing. Just meditate, you know? Yeah, yeah, I do that now. I've been doing that in the morning. I'll get up to have my coffee. TV stays off. I'll just sit there with my coffee in the quiet. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it says that meditation has been shown to increase gray matter in the brain. Gray matter contains in their own cell body as you age, gray matter declines, mm-hmm. which negativity impacts memory and cognitive. So, absolutely, if you can find time, like I said, yeah, no matter what anybody says, you don't need to light candles. No, you no. Sit with your legs in a pretzel on the floor. Just seriously, just sit there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Just meditate. Just Relax. Whatever you got to do. Yeah. Make sure there's no noise, there's no no distractions. Even if it's just, you know, 10, 10 20 minutes, just yeah. do it. Yep. You know? And so. I like it because I'm with people all day long. So yes. I like the quiet time. Well, that's me. You know, my yeah. the, the, real, the real world, the real job, I, I take care of people, right. you know? Right. I'm a nurse and say, so it's a nurse's assistant and med aid. So it's like, I. I deal with people constantly, yes. you know, yes. and it's not that I don't like my job, it's just it gets to you after a while. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. Oh, boom, here's the big one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maintain a healthy weight. Yeah, okay, but, you know. Well, absolutely, I mean, I mean, I do understand obesity is a problem, and I'm sure it can affect your brain functions and all these things, but... The thing is, I have a problem with their healthy weight. I know people that are, you know, 5'7", and 145 is their healthy weight. Right, and some right. 120. You know, so I think I, that you really need to get with your doctor on that and decide... What's right for you. Exactly, versus what a BMI chart or what your right. chart say. You exactly, know? So, there you go, yeah, exactly. Abso- absolutely, I, I believe that, that, you know... It says that, well, it says here obesity is associated with a higher risk of developing Alzheimer's. Oh, yeah, definitely. Pressure disease destroys memory and, you know. Oh, so. heart attacks, yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. But everybody's different. So, you yeah. have to find out what's right for you. Yeah, the right way. Definitely talk to a doctor, talk to a nutritionist, talk to somebody that can help you do it right. Don't don't go on these crazy diets. Yes, the, this keto diet. I think that's yeah. ridiculous. Well, I know people that are getting health problems for this. I mean, yes. it works. Trust me, it does. Oh yeah, I but I, I, it's way, but they, they they some of them get sick. So definitely talk to your doctor before you do anything. Well, that keto diet. What the problem is, you're losing so much so fast, and that's not healthy. No, I don't think it is either. But no. you know, it, to each their own. But right. I just just like I said, make sure you're being monitored. Um, oh, next on the list. In the land of fantasy world, it's called Get Enough Sleep. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. What is that? <laughs> but, it, but it says that lack of sleep has actually been associated with poor memory. Okay. Which I can believe that. Yeah. There's days when I'm like walking around like a zombie yeah. from having yeah. a half sleep. People will be like, hey, did, did, did you go in so-and-so's room? I was like, was I on that unit? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I totally get it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course not to that. I'm joking. <laughs> you, you do you do have a very poor memory when you're not getting sleep. Um, now, I'm not sure what this means. Practice mindfulness. Hmm. 
It says, mindfulness is a mental state in which you focus on your present situation, maintaining awareness of your surroundings. Because, well, duh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that one, that, yeah, well, you can gotta tell people that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, yeah, we're just going to move on. I'm not even going to focus. Yeah, not, no. If you're not in the here and the now, then you need to, you know. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about essential oils? Well... As far as for memory, I don't know. I think that maybe certain scents can trigger things. Hmm. That, that because, might remind, you know, that might get your mind going to remember things. Yeah. Um. Oh, here's one. Drink less alcohol. Okay. I don't. I don't drink, but yeah, me I mean, either. I can imagine how alcohol would have an impact. On oh your yeah, memory. it has an impact on a lot of things. But yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I mean, well, it says here that. Uh, a study of 155, well, they did this on kids, though, which I don't understand why they do it on kids. But anyways, it says that when drinking to non-drinking, that the ratio was really high for the ones who didn't drink to have a better memory, so. Well, yeah. 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 It says repeated episodes of binge drinking, binge drinking can cause the hippocampus, <laughs> any part of the brain that plays a vital role in the memory, base, base, or damage, it can damage it. Okay. So. Yeah, so definitely, you know, take down. I mean, that that that's also a given. Anybody who thinks alcohol is good for them, yeah. in large amounts, you just need to go yeah. to another island. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Have to agree there. Yes, absolutely. Train your brain, and I know this works because I know with a lot of like all like uh, Alzheimer's patients and things like that. Um, you know, exercising your cognitive skills, yes. like playing brain games yep. and, and repetitive games and things like that, yep. that just constantly, you know, and challenge your brain, that it does. It yes. will help you. Yes, absolutely. I have to agree there. I have to totally agree. Uh, my dad's going to... Uh, it says 4,715 4, people showed that when they did 15 minutes of online brain training program at least five days a week, their short-term... Their short-term memory, working memory, concentrations, and problem-solving improved significantly compared to, to a control group. Which is, so, yeah, interesting because, you know, the group AARP, of course, if you belong to that, they have brain games for you. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, they do have them where you well, can I get... Know, I know they have them all over, like, in the, the, like the different apps that are yes, free. Yes, yeah, you can brain games, so, yeah. There's no reason not to be playing... Bring games. Yeah, and ARP yeah. actually has those in their yeah. program thing that you, you know. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah so they've known this apparently. So my dad, he just turned 81. He um, he does crossword puzzles. He's done them every single day, like forever. Really? So Yeah, oh, wow. and he has, the, he's sharp as a tack. There's nothing. Uh, every day it's a crossword puzzles. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah so. Okay, number nine. <laughs> uh, My downfall in life. Cut down on refined carbs. Oh, well, yeah. So get, cut down on your cakes, your cereal, your cookies, your white rice, your white bread. I love and, rice. And this is that those things may be changing your memory. Yeah. I don't eat, I like white rice. I don't eat it very often, though, but I, yeah. I mean, I like it. I, I love cereal. Oh, yeah. I eat it when I'm off. <laughs> I, I don't know The why. milk I doesn't love, like me. I don't know if it's like, the, if, like if it just triggers like, like a thing from when you were a kid, but it I could love be. cereal. I love it. I, I do, too. Because it's just something you could just make so fast. Yes. <laughs> yep, yep. But it's the milk mm, that gets me. Yeah. So I have to be careful. So, But, oh, yeah. And my granddaughter. Yeah, so, of course, and, and, and again, that's common sense. Anyone yeah. that thinks large amounts of carbs is good for you, you yeah. need to also go on another yeah. island. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> moderation, people. Moderation. Yes. Um, oh, here's an interesting one. This one will actually be affecting me since I, I work at night, is get your vitamin D levels checked. It says, yes. I'm going to read what it, all, what it says here. It says, vitamin D is an important nutrient that plays many vital roles on the body. Low levels of vitamin D have been linked to a host of health issues, yes. including reduction in cognitive function. Yeah, because, a study that followed 318 older adults for five years found that those who had, well, they found, 
five years. Okay, who has yeah. levels of vitamin D of less than 20 nanograms per ml lost their memory and other cognitive cognitive abilities faster than those with normal vitamin D levels. Yeah, I can I can see that because and vitamin D affects your that seasonal uh, disorder. Yeah, That's so an, definitely yes. have that checked. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that uh, sunshine. If you get sunshine in your windows, you know, sit in it. Sit in the sun because that ups your vitamin D. Yeah. So. Yeah, the, it, like that. winter time. You know, it's so dark all the time. So, yeah, it oh, really yeah, does. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, hold on. We're getting there. Let me get back down here. I lost my place. Somebody named Jeff Didon just messaged me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh no. We're we're gonna discuss something that he told me earlier too, which I thought was really neat. This is a totally different subject. Um. Okay. Exercise more. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course. We all. I mean, but this is my thing. <laughs> I'm not going to a gym, okay? I yep. hate gym. Yeah, you and me I'm going to be honest. I am going to be honest because every time I have gotten extremely sick, like with some kind of funky cold or yeah. that never goes away, I've always gone to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying that gyms are dirty. You're supposed to wipe down the machines. Right. It's my own stupidity, but you know, you get in a hurry, you're like, just yeah. get me out of here. Yeah. And especially those 30 minute rooms. Do yes. You know what I'm talking yes. about? Yes. Yes. You, you mm. can't stop and wipe down the no. machine the last person because you've got to keep moving. So right. it's like, uh, me, I think that that there's enough information at home to do stuff on YouTube. Oh, Definitely, absolutely. Of course, again, talk to your doctor, see what your skill level is, what your, you yeah. Know, Go you for just if nothing else, go for a walk. Yeah, exactly. That's the best thing you can do. Keep keep moving if you can. I walk exactly. all day long. I get enough <laughs> all oh day God. long. This is this is well, it's on the subject, but it's kind of what I read this thing today. I don't know how true it is, but it was saying that having sex for twenty five minutes is actually better for you than yes. walking over two miles. Yes, that's what they say. That is the best exercise you can have. I'll yeah, be dead but, tomorrow. <laughs> I'll probably I'll, I'll be dead tomorrow. <laughs> I'm ready to tell you what was just messaged to me. <laughs> okay. He's such a nut. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just goes. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> he said. He said. Um, hey, I'm gonna use the word F. He said F Jim. You can always go to the Jeff for exercise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go again. What's the last one? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the nut show. Yes. Yes. How you we, doing, we always Jeff? have fun. Yes, We're we do. We're not just survivalists. We also have fun. So, yeah. you know, I know a lot of y'all girls ones like, oh, oh, oh. Well, we can't. We just can't. We no. just can't. No. <laughs> not in us. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anti-inflammatory foods. It says may improve. <laughs> he talks like that to everybody, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, anti-inflammatory foods may help improve your mem- ter- memories. Um, what that means, antioxidants, um, lower inf- inflammation, and reduce, you know, oxidative stress, all this stuff. So what is exactly an antioxidant food? Um, we are talking blueberries, strawberries, of course. Yes. That is like the big... Yes. Oh, yeah. like the top of the list of almost anything where it says to help with anything, mm-hmm. you know? It oh, yeah. It seems like the berries. Yes. Blueberries, strawberries, you know, blackberries, all those ones. So... Definitely get those. Those are anti-inflammatories, and so are so is garlic. Garlic mm-hmm. is huge. Yes, I use garlic on everything. Any meat I make, I gotta have garlic on it. Yeah. You know, like uh, pork chops or steak. And I, I gotta have garlic on it. Yeah. So. And that's a very big anti-inflammatory, yeah. and that'll help you, and that'll also help with different types of diseases, things like that, or or um. What am I trying? What am I trying to say? Like cold things yeah. like that. Oh so, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Oh, it's... Um, add some cocoa to your diet. Ooh, now we're talking. You know it. I'm into that. Okay. Cocoa is not only delicious, but also nutritious. Okay, now let me explain something here before we get into this. What they are talking about is not a Hershey bar. No, They're no. They're not <laughs> talking about a package of Swiss Miss Aww. cocoa. I know. Aww. What they're talking about is, is a dark chocolate with a oh, cocoa yeah. content of 70% cocoa or higher. Yes. So yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's gonna be like the it's gonna be like almost like the bitter chocolate. So definitely, and the, it's one thing that can help you with your memory big time. It says this is actually more beneficial to your brain than almost anything on the list. So that's wonderful. I like so, that chocolate. Now there are some off the off the list stuff here. Like you said, that people try the uh, essential oils. Yes, yes. And they're saying um, uh, tea tree oil is one you should have. Yeah, chocolate is a salad. I agree. I'm all for that, Jeff, honestly. Yeah. Um, but tea tree oil, that's great for um, its antiseptic benefits. Um, and you add, you can even add water for household cleaner, tea tree oil. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There's different things in aromatherapy. There's yeah. There, there's so many things that, that, that are just untapped because this is this is one thing I think, too, is music. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because I have noticed that even, like, the most severe cases of Alzheimer's patients, uh -huh. they will recognize a song from their era. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So, the, yeah, they will definitely, they, they will recognize a song from, you know, from their childhood or something that was important to them. And I find that myself. I can, I can listen to like a, like an old, what was considered oldies now. Yeah, yeah, no like, God, yeah. Like 70s, 80s, 90s yeah. music and, and a certain song will come on and it can actually trigger. Yeah emotions in you whether it be happy sad or you're you know you're hurt or you're just you know just it, it does it can trigger an emotion yep, in you absolutely songs, yeah. absolutely so i i really think that music is really important for people to listen to constantly yeah you know? tea tree oil yep tea tree oil yeah good for cold sores it's great for acne they say um, yeah, I've heard that too. That yeah, it's good for cold sores. Yeah, Ma uh, mix it with your cleanser or something, whatever you use, and it tr help treat acne. Do you know what else tea tree oil is good for? It's a common problem in the United States right now, and well, all over the world actually. Is the little suckers do not like them? Is the little uh, the bugs? Bed which ones? Uh, fleas, roaches, bed bugs. There you go. Yep. Tea there, yes, oil. tea tree oil. Yes, isn't that something? <laughs> Who'd have thought something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, they don't like them. This thing here says that in a study that, oh, wow, that, that's a pretty high level. 94% success rate if you rub tea tree oil like on your, like your bed, like on the bottom of your bed yep. and around and stuff like that, yeah. you will no longer have a, a problem with, with bugs. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Hopefully you won't have one to begin with. But right. And it also <laughs> treats bug bites. So yes. you can use it for, for both. So there you go. Another another home remedy for a bug bite. Okay, we're going to get off subject here. We always do this. Yes, off we always rails. do. It's all right. Okay, off the rails. Um, like if you get a mosquito bite, anything like yep. that, you can spray hairspray on it. Okay, and yeah. What the hairspray does is the alcohol numbs it so it doesn't itch right. and then it forms like a layer over your skin right. so the air doesn't get it to keep it from itching there you go yep so all right so yeah i'm talking about memory as we get off subject yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry that was my fault go ahead making lists and the reason they say making lists here can help the memories you know to making the list yeah between, you know you can uh no Forgot what I was gonna say. Isn't that so you need to make lists? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. No, we, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. No, they're saying that if you make lists every day of the things that you need to do, if you start doing it every day, you'll start remembering to do things. So that it does make sense. Yeah, but it's uh, like when I make a list for the grocery store and leave it at home. You know that. 
doesn't help. Yeah. I do that. I do that. I'll make a list and I'll just leave it and run out without it. But Yeah. Um, another thing here, it says to write yourself notes on your cell phone, like, like to text yourself. That helps you remember things. Okay. Like, te- you know, text it to your number. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I know that, that's, that one's a little weird. I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm reading it right now and I'm like, well. Yeah, maybe not. I talk to myself. That's enough. Uh-huh. I start sending myself notes. We may be in trouble. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Who is that? Who sent me that? <laughs> um, a lot of people don't know this. The guy here, Jeff, did on that. That's in our um, chat right here. He he plays like in Dominus. And he comes by Redneck Jeff, and he's got a lot of home remedies and stuff that he was telling me about oh. earlier. Yeah, different things like that. Something about crickets and the temperature outside. I thought oh yeah. Crazy. Yeah, Have you heard of that? See, I never I've heard, heard something movie. about it. I'm not exactly yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I can't get that. That link won't open that he sent to me, but he was telling me something about the crickets. Hang on, Jeff, if, you, if you could type in here what they're talking about, like the 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 crickets, like the you know how many times they church times whatever, and that's okay. generally Let's the temperature. See. Oh, okay. The noise. Of, oh, okay. You found it. Okay, cool. I think so. Can crickets predict the weather? Let's see. Well, the weather, like the temperature. Yeah, let me see what they have to say here. Um, they can act as a natural thermometer. Crickets make more noise in warm weather because it's easier for them to chirp. The noise a cricket makes is from rubbing its wings together, which we know. In colder weather, this is harder for crickets to do. So, of course, um, in warm weather, there's more chirping. The number of chirps a cricket makes oh, relates to the temperatures. This was discovered in the late 1800s. They found that counting the number of chirps a cricket makes over a certain time gives the air temperature within okay. a few degrees. Yep. He just put it on here. Yeah. It says count the number of chirps in 15 seconds and add 37. Right. And it will give you the approximate temperature outside. Yep. I'm, I cannot wait to try this. Oh my I God. know. Oh, it I says here, sound, add 40. I the sound of crickets. Now, now I'm going to be like, wait, wait. I yeah. was like, come on, boys, let me hear it. It says, <laughs> count the number of chirps in 15 seconds, then add 40. So close enough. Oh, yeah, 37, 40. Yeah, either way, it's about you know, yeah. the approximate temperature. That's amazing. Yeah. Yes, see, I Isn't, have never heard that before. Yeah, it's called Dole Bear's Law. Here, I'll put it in there. Dole Bear's Law. Because he's the one who discovered it, apparently. Oh, Interesting. So there you go. There it is. Yep. Yeah, that is interesting. Love it. I know. Yeah, here um, we have like a marsh area, okay? So when I come home from work or go to work even, you know, I know it's becoming scream when you hear the peepers, the froggy little froggies start going off. And I'm like, yes, they finally did it the other day. I was so happy. So you know warmer weather's coming when they do that. Woohoo! Yes. I'm like, yeah. My froggies are out, My little, the little peepers. Oh, yeah, that's here, too. It's been getting warm because I've noticed, like, during the afternoon, my apartment's getting real hot for here. Yeah, when, when you're in the south, like, certain people in our chat room here, you know, yeah. have ridiculous temperatures, like 80 degrees in uh, yeah, shut up. March. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be like, it was so warm today. It was 56. He's like, yeah, it was 85 here. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what to do with that, but I don't want to, yeah, don't even go there. I'm t- I'm just so tired of this but, colder weather. Now, now, what are other signs of spring coming? We're, we're just going to just randomly go where we go. Yeah. Here. Okay. Um, actually, I was going to bring us something about pain. Okay. Um, natural, natural cures for pain are natural ways to to help with your pain. Um, on that list, meditation was one of them. Which is weird, which is the same thing for the, the memory, but also um, for controlling pain, too, it can actually help a little bit, you know. Uh-huh. Let's see here. 
I'm trying to find that. Gee, I swear, I can never find anything when I want it. Okay. Natural relief for nine alternatives to ibuprofen. Or Aleve, whatever you take, you know, Tylenol. There, there's things that you can actually take to, to, or to start using that might help you. Ginger. Yep, ginger. An extremely powerful inflammatory. Yes, yes. Extremely powerful. And just like grinding up some ginger in your food or even getting the ginger pills from, you know, your local store, yep. that can help. Oh, yeah. Ginger, yeah. And it's good for nausea, too. Exactly. I, I, I never know if I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, turmeric? Yes. How you pronounce it? Okay. Yes, you got it. Yes. Now, I have been hearing about this for years. Uh -huh. I have heard about this. This is something that my grandma was talking about, even when I was, you know, a younger kid, talking about the, uh, it's, a, it's supposed to be a miracle spice. Um, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I've say, heard a lot it, about it lately, especially lately. Yeah. It has like an anti, you know, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer properties. Yeah. Um, it will improve your circulation, blood clotting. It, <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah, and its yeah. active ingredient is, I can't even pronounce this, curcumin? I have no clue. I have no clue. Responsible for lowering the levels of two enzymes in the body that can cause inflammation and pain. Mm, so, it, yep. it, T U R M E R I C. Yeah, turmeric, yes. Yes. Definitely. That is something that if you're having a lot of pain and issues, you need to look into. Also, did you know what else you can use for aches and pains? Willow What's bark tea. This is a folk oh. remedy. Willow bark tea for pain. It's a natural remedy that dates back thousands of years. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it has its high, it's, bleh, works due to its high concentration of salicin. It's very similar in chemical composition in, uh, to aspirin. Um, you, you can go. take, yeah, wow. willow bark tea can be used in place of aspirin or any other over-the-counter painkillers. It can treat, it'll treat everything from headaches and cramps to tendinitis and arthritis. Willow bark tea. It That's also, good. yeah, it also contains wow. antioxidants, uh, polyphenols and flavonoids, which provide additional health benefits. So there you go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's one I hadn't heard of before. That That's a really yeah. good... Yeah, willow bark tea. So that's a little folk remedy there. You, you'll like this one, Jeff, from being in the South Capsaicin. Which yes. Which is derived from chili peppers. Furs. Yes, hot, hot stuff, Yeah, hot, hot jalapenos. Stuff. Yeah, jalapenos. Yeah, so this topic reduces yeah. nerve, muscle, and joint pain. Yeah. And it's... And it's Stopping the chemical known as substance P from transmitting pain signals. Yep. So by using stuff with chili peppers in it, you can actually stop the signals to your brain that's telling you that you're hurting. Yeah, I did, yeah, so, yeah. I tried that, why. but it didn't work and, with me. And, see, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, some people. Well, it's like they say, try different things. Yeah. Sometimes even a combination. Yeah. Yes. Of things, yes. Absolutely. You know, so that's great. Um, valerian root. This is nature's tranquilizer. Yeah. Take I it during do. the day when you're when you first wake up. Don't take a high dose. Take a lower dose, and it can help with nerve pain. That'll stop the. Don't they have the a um, things like that? Huh? Uh, don't they have a valerian tea? I thought. Yes, absolutely. Okay. They do. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's what I now, thought. Here's one that I know has worked in the past for a few people that I know is magnesium. I have a, I can't take anything with magnesium in it. Really? Gives me migraines because I have enough in my body. So if I take oh, more, okay. I get a mig well, yeah. uh, I get a migraine. Well, like we said, with anything before you start anything, check with your doctor. Yeah, yeah. Check your levels. Check all you know. But but for people, if you can take it, magnesium can actually yeah. cure migraines, muscle spasm, mm -hmm. fibromyalgia, which you know can affect back all kinds of things. Yeah, so there's, yeah, absolutely, uh, yeah. What in the world is cat's claw? This list has cat's claw on it. It's his name for its look-alike horns, cat's claw, a woody vine native to the Amazon rainforest. And play. Well, how the hell are we going to get that? Okay. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's known for, I guess you can get it in pills and, and stuff. like. Oh, it says you can get it online. Oh, there you go. It says you'll, you'll, you want the, 
You want to stick to doses to avoid diarrhea, 250 to 1,000 milligram capsules, one to three times a day. It says that's another one that, that will block will, hmm. will block um, a hormone which contributes to inflammation and pain within the body. Okay. Uh, Boswellia? Yeah. I that way. B-O-S-W-E-L-L-I-A. Okay. F- no idea. I need to get this guy Lars on here. He knows about all these plants. Uh, it says commonly known as Indian frankincense. Okay, I know what this okay. is. Okay. Well, it contains active components like resin that reduce inflammation and pain. It can be taken as a supplement as well as used topically. It's just ba- it is basically frankincense. You can get the okay. frankincense oil and rub it on. Right, you. right. Okay. Why don't they just call it that instead of confusing? I know. Yeah, that sounds. And here's yeah. your here's your white willow bark on yeah. the list. There you go. So, yep. There's that, and then the essential oils again. Yep, yep. Essential oils, um, chamomile, lavender, sage, yep. um, rubbing into muscles, different things like that, aromatherapy, therapy release yep. stress in the root of pain. Yep. So. Yep. So here's some uh, folk remedies that have been known to help through the ages. Um, use a damp tea bag for a bee sting or a wasp sting. Use a damp uh, black tea bag over the sting. Leave it there. Uh, the swelling goes down and the stinger will come out. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Whoever thought of castor oil needs to be shot if you ask me. Ugh. Oh, me too. Oh. Yeah, of course, that they use that for years. They use that for years. Um, milk. If you have um, soak your skin in cold milk to heal burns. Sunburn too. Get a cotton ball with milk on it and put it over your slumber. It takes the sting out. Yeah. So, yes, the fats and proteins in it. Yes, toothpaste, too. Really? I've never yeah. heard of toothpaste. Yeah, I have. Yeah, that's good, too. For wasp and bee stings? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, it's something you always have on hand, too, so yeah. that's amazing. Um, yeah, and also the fats and proteins in the milk will nourish the skin and help speed the healing process. So there you go. And again, like we said, consult a doctor. Yes, absolutely. Like anything you're going to ingest that's actually going to affect your health, you right. know. Oh, I'm yes. not talking about the toothpaste, but I'm talking about other things. Right. Make sure you check with your official. Make sure your, your levels are okay to take these things. And we don't want anybody keeling over. So, yeah. you know, that's uh, our or, disclaimer. <laughs> or, you know, yes, disclaimer. Yes, thank you. We keep um, saying it over and over again because people are stupid. Yes, you know? <laughs> yes. Isn't that truth? Truth. <laughs> Um, you could also use yogurt if you have cold yogurt instead of milk. Now, there the is thing. something that I heard about the other day. I don't even know if this is true or not. I need to do more research. Okay. <laughs> People are saying that if you have a yeast infection, uh-huh. that you can actually insert just plain unflavored yogurt into your area there. Yeah. And it will cure the yeast infection. Well, it's got the active cultures in it. So, I don't uh, know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't, know. I don't think I'd try that, but okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure that I'd be, be sticking yogurt in my hoo ha. No, nah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm doing a I, right now. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be in my head now. Great. Uh, wonderful. Yeah, right. But, but no, when we're talking about home remedies and what people have yeah. tried and different I, things, and, and this is something that I read about, <laughs> so many people do. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> mm, I don't either. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't try. Let me see. Uh, yogurt for yeast infections. Let me see. Yeah, I, I read it. I was like, well, I, I don't know if I'd do that. <laughs> yeah. I, in dogs, it says. <laughs> yeah, let's okay, that. all right. Let me see. The answer is yes. Studies support using yogurt to combat these infections. Several types of yeast and bacteria can build up. Okay, it is important to use plain natural yogurt that contains lactobacillus. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, I don't know. What, what, what would you do, like a turkey baster? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait. I, here, I have directions here. Hang on. Oh, okay. We got How directions. to use it. Uh, this is going to be good. A turkey baster. <laughs> okay, whatever works. Um. What's enough? You have to use a plain natural yogurt. Don't just get Chobani out there or something. Use okay. They have a spoon in a bowl. Okay. Um, here we go. Use your fingers to insert a scoop of yogurt. But it's it's liquid. And it's yeah, liquid. that's what it says. Or fill an unused tampon applicator. Oh. Okay. Or for cooling relief, freeze it first. Oh, God. Yeah, freeze an unused yogurt filled tamp. Yeah, whoo. Freeze. I'm not crossing my legs real quick. <laughs> freeze an. <laughs> this is good. I like it. Freeze an unused yogurt filled tampon applicator before inserting. Oh. I kid you not. That's what it says. Have you ever seen that movie where the kid gets his toe stuck to the Oh, floor? yeah. <laughs> Um, How did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I I really don't know. Okay, so there you go. Just as gag. Yeah, oh yeah, I gosh. agree. I'm sorry. I wouldn't do that. No. No, I'm not. There no. is just something wrong with all that. Oh, my gosh. It, it, just, a, just a bit. <laughs> so there you go. You can just scoop it on up. Yeah, if you don't want to do that, you, you go right ahead. Yeah. Ugh. I, I didn't know. No. Yeah. But you can. It's got to be natural, regular yogurt. Yeah. Natural, regular, unflavored. Un- yes. No sweeteners, colored, nothing. No artificial flavor. No nope. colors. Nope. Wow. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, when I first read that, I thought it was a joke. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> I would have, too. Yeah. But I, guess, I mean, I guess if, like, you had, like, no money and nothing else, and you, you know, but, yeah. you know, maybe I, and, uh, you happen to have unflavored yogurt, and you're free. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Put it to I good guess. use, I guess. I, yeah. I like the turkey baster, though. That kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there you go. Yes, it does work. But, again, you... Icing Piper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what design tip should I put on it? Let's do squigglies today. Okay, yeah, no, I'll pass. That's okay. That's just, I I can't even, no. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you want to hear something really strange? It's stranger than that. (laughs) Well, I don't know. It's close, I think. No, I don't think so. Um, You can use spider webs to close up wounds. Spider webs to close wounds? Yes. How on earth would you do that? Um, spider webs may very well have been the first ever Band-Aid. Um, spider silk uh-huh. is sticky. Um, also, they contain proteins and vitamins, which actually speed both blood clotting and wound healing. So what do you do? Just slap it on? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, simply find a clean spider web. Make sure there's no dead bugs on it. Okay, and you put the spider web and bundle it into a ball. And you, okay. okay, that will fit into the wound you want to close. You have to make sure the web fills the wound and the entire wound, and it'll stop the bleeding and prevent any contaminants from sneaking in. So, how about um, that? that? That's definitely proceed. With caution in on your own. Regard. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, if you're stuck out in the woods, you get a, you know like poked with a stick and it's a oh, yeah. puncture wound or something. I guess that would work till you got back. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely yeah, like you said, last resort type thing. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it's it contains proteins and vitamins that has blood clotting um, uh, stuff in it and wound healing. It's actually. <laughs> Yeah, who'd have thought? That's interesting. Yeah. All right, here's one that, okay, this came from from Jeff here the other day, too. He was, now, like I said, this all these things are like proceed with caution. Yes, We're not yes. telling you to, not no, to, no. 
you do what you want to do. That's on, that's on you. Yep. Um, about, he says he's already saying it works. Are you saying it works about the spider web or about what I'm about to say? He knows what I'm about to say. Uh, chicken bone. He's saying to clean off a chicken bone, get all the meat off it, get all the little bones off it, and give it to a teething baby. Okay. He says it works. I believe it. I can believe that. I, I actually Googled it and people yeah. do do this. Yeah, yeah. To just like give it to them to like gnaw on or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I would definitely absolute close supervision. Yes, I, oh yeah. And when I say any of these things, we are not telling you to do this. No, We are no. just telling you what, what the information is out there and it's up to you to do your own research. And right, own. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, I just thought that was very... Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, he says yeah. So <laughs> he's always he's talking yep, about spider webs. webs. Yep, spider there you webs go. Stop bleeding and help cure the wound. Well, there it is. There it is. Now you know. Stamp of approval from Red. There Red you Jack. go. And now we know. <laughs> yep. So that's what we're going to start calling you now, Redneck Jeff. Because that's your that's your call sign on your other stuff. So <laughs> he says chicken things are the best thing for teething. Okay. That's all. I'm going to have him on the show sometime. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, well, just... yeah, they had used something back in the day, so maybe chicken bones was it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what's funny is my, my daughter was telling me there's like an old thing, like when babies cough, you like pat their chest and go chicken bone, chicken bone. And she said that that actually derives from that because people yeah. would. Yeah, yes. Chicken bone. Yeah. There you go. So that's crazy. Mm-hmm. But hey, if it works, it works. Heck yeah. And then, then of course, so there's the old, okay, we, we got to bring it up, the old remedy that we all had and our kids probably had, and now people are going, oh, God, don't do that. Yep. Take, you know, the, the, the whiskey on the finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we survived, okay. Our kids survived, but now it's like taboo and nobody can do it. Oh, yeah, oh, my God, yeah, oh, my God. Um, well, like it, I said, this, this is another remedy. It's out there. It's information. Yes, We're yes. just telling you what's out there. It's just, that, yes. like I said, just dip your finger or Q-tip in some whiskey, rum, whatever, and just rub it on their gums. Yep. Yep. It will numb it. Not good. They're not drinking it. You're not no. giving it a shot. Yeah, we're not, you know, you're not doing shots with the kids, so it's okay. Yeah. No. Dear God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Yep. But yeah, so definitely, if you have to ask your doctor that, trust me, his answer is going to be no. Yeah. Yeah, don't even <laughs> ask your doctor. Yeah. His or her answer will be no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you're filling their bottle with it. So, you know, I mean, I, honestly, that, my God, my parent, my mom used that. Yeah, I use it on my kids. Yeah. I did. I yeah. just put, like, this is, well, actually, my mother did. Yeah. She put a little bit on a Q tip and just yeah. rubbed it right on her gums. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. So there's, let's see, we've covered pain, we've covered teething, we've yep. covered memory loss. Yep. What else we got? Let's go. Uh, I don't know. What else? Well, well, we covered yeast infections. There you go. Yes. Oh my uh, God. I really thought that one was going to be false. Yeah, I did too. I was like, what? Um, an old fashioned remedy for, to reduce the fever. Remember, uh, take a cold bath. Remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Temper. It's not cold. It's warm, but it feels cold yeah, to you. Warm. A yeah. lot of people still do that, yes. though, but, but, but a lot of pediatricians now are frowning upon that. Oh, they frown upon everything, so. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, the, the old remedy is that if you're... If you or your child, anybody has a fever, to go take, like, a lukewarm bath. Right. Or a lukewarm shower, whatever you want to do, and it should help re reduce the fever. Yep. Another old wise tale is remember the remember the Vicks on the feet. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. For those of you who don't know, those of us when we were younger, and even my kids too, they went through it. Um, whenever we would get sick, Dad would come and he would put Vicks on our throat, Vicks on our chest, yep, Vicks on our palms, and Vicks on our feet. There you go. And it would draw the fever down. I don't know how, but it would draw the fever down to the feet, and it worked on my kids, too. There you go. It would draw the fever down, and all of a sudden, their legs and feet that were freezing were warm. It, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it, it worked for me. It worked yes. for my kids. I'm yeah. not saying it's going to work for you. I'm not no. saying it's even safe. <laughs> I know. 
tell you. Yeah, that. yeah. Yep. That it's something they used to work. Remember, they put the Vicks on and they yep. put the socks on. Yes, yes. Yes. I remember, yes. Um, yeah. yeah. My parents very, I mean, my parents actually were not into giving a lot of medicine to us. No, were, no, no. Um, ours either. Um, when we had a really bad cold or something. Hot yeah. toddies. Hot toddies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tea with okay. whiskey in it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have the tea with the, yep. like the thimble full of whiskey in yep. it. Yep. And you sweated honey, it out. Honey and lemon. Yeah. And then you get under the covers and you sweated it out. Yeah. Yep. That is like. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, nowadays if you told somebody that, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you yeah. gave your kid alcohol. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. You'd never hear the end of it. But no, yeah, but that you're supposed to give them the, the children's cold medicine that has fifteen thousand different, yeah, you know, and that makes them a zombie. And, yeah. yeah, makes them a zombie. That's okay, and puts them. Children them ah! <laughs> Don't give them a thimble full of alcohol. Oh my God, no! <laughs> and we slept good too. There's no doubt, but you sweated it out and slept, and it was yeah. It really cut that. Yeah, you're, you're, he changed his name to Redneck Jeff. I love there you go. Yay. Sprite Vicks <laughs> and chicken Jeff. noodle soup. Yep. yep. Sprite, Sprite ginger Vicks ale. Vicks yeah. Noodle soup is all. He said all Sprite Vicks and chicken noodle soup oh. was all I got as a child. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what they did. Well, well, like with my kids when they were younger, you could ask them to this to this day. My, yep. my youngest daughter will do this. If she's feeling sick to her stomach. She goes and she gets her a plain donut yeah. and some Sprite, and, and it helps because the, 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 the not a not a sugar donut, just right. a plain old donut. Right. It helps kind of absorb some of the stuff that's making you feel icky. Um, tomato yeah. soup is supposed to kill the virus. Tomato soup. Um, tomato soup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, something in it it kills the virus. Um, what else was there? Oh, pretzels. Pretzels is another one I heard. I don't know if it works, but pretzels for upset stomach. But you can also freeze some ginger chips. You can suck on those all day, too. Well, you know what? I have heard that, too. Even uh, <coughs> Excuse me. The, the ginger, the ginger, mm-hmm. uh, what do you, oh, I can't even know, ginger popsicles people yeah. make for their kids. Yep, yep, yeah. How about, uh-huh. here's some good ones for you. This is um, rub yourself with cabbage, and health tips from Polish grandmas. Wait, rub yourself with what? Cabbage. As in like C A B B A. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, rub yourself with cabbage and other health tips from Polish grandmas. Okay. Well, what what does rubbing? Yourself <laughs> I don't know. Do? That um, sounds like that okay. sounds like intro to a really bad porn. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, doesn't it, though? Yeah. Chris, are you there? The freaks are going to take off with this one. Anyway, yeah. um, you know, uh, in throw a sweatshirt in the dryer to warm it up. Yes, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect, Jeff. Um, Redneck uh, Jeff says, throw a yes. sweatshirt in the dryer and warm it up, rub the chest down with Vicks, and get under the covers. There you go. That's how you bring okay. it. Okay, now in Polish families, it's very, uh, you don't... If you don't accept grandma's advice, um, you're going to have a diplomatic disaster. But anyway, in the event you have visible symptoms of allergies or something that you have allergic reaction to, like a bee sting, they will em- poles will uh, immediately prescribe you calcium. It turns out to be a rather um, It's often oh. m- mocked, but um, mm. calcium. Oh, dang it! Stop it. <laughs> calcium alleviates allergic symptoms and can be successfully used with medicine. Um, there's already a lot of calcium in the humans, uh, but if it's released slowly, uh, if you take a bit of calcium right after being stung by a bee or another allergic reaction, can be very helpful. Huh. Yes, um, they're convinced that a combination of vitamin C, what the heck is rutin? R-U-T-I-N. Uh, it's supposed to be irreplaceable for strengthening the immune system. 
treating the common cold and flu. You looking up rutin R U T I N. Um, yeah, it says a plant pigment that is found in certain fruits and vegetables. Rutin is used to make medicine. The major source of the rutin, rutin medical use include buckwheat, Japanese pagoda tree, and eu- eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, even okay. Vitamin yeah, C and so. rutin. Um, it's irreplaceable for strengthening the immune system, treating the common cold and flu, and um, more serious diseases such as anemia. Hmm. Um, every human body, of course, needs vitamin C, and deficiency can lead to serious disorders such as scurvy. Remember the old pirates there? They used to get that all the time. Yeah, and that's just plain old oranges can cure that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Solution of peroxide helps sore throat. Of course, we know the properties of peroxide. Um, and Coca-Cola is probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of obsolete Polish home remedies. Um, almost every grandmother will persuade you to drink a glass of flat Coke. I've heard that. Mike. Yes, to Mike alleviate. Do that. Shake it up and then yeah. give it. Yeah. This is supposed to help with vomiting or nausea. It works. Yeah. Well, it works for me, I should say. Yep. Yes, drinking flat Coke. Um, yep. Of course, garlic, uh, honey, and onion soup for a cold. Um, uh, wait, honey and onion soup? Yeah, you finally chop. Like yeah, they are the only two ingredients. Yeah, honey and um, you chop two onions, put a layer of chopped onions in a jar, and cover it with honey. Put another, like, keep layering it. Leave it for twenty-four hours. It forms a cough syrup. Oh wow! I'm gonna try that. Yeah, There's- it's okay. Chop two. What you writing this down? Fine, chop, okay. Onion. Finally, chop two onions. Put a layer of chopped onion in a jar. Cover it with honey, and then keep layering it till it's full. Leave it for twenty-four hours, and it forms a syrup. Now, how long does it stay good for, though? Um, the syrup can be stored in the fridge for two days. Oh, okay. So it's not something that's going to last. But hard. you have to take it a tablespoon four to five times a day. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I guess it would work. Um, it also strength. It has an antiseptic property and strengthens the heart muscles. Well, yeah, but the honey would be. I would yes, imagine. yes. Hippocrates, who lived for 111 years, always credited honey for oh, his yeah. longevity. Hippocrates. I was like, who? Hippocrates. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hippocrates. I knew that. I. St- oh, I had to think for a second. I said, what did she just say? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get it's it. It's been a long week. I yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. And got, rubbing your nose with garlic. It's a natural antibiotic in Poland, no matter how odd it sounds. Um, garlic has great antibacterial properties. So it'll it fight the virus that causes colds and flu. So rub your nose with it. And cabbage. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now, yes, we're getting. You got it. <laughs> Okay, cabbage is, of course, healthy. We all know this. Low in calories, lots of uh, vitamin C, B, and A, a bit of sulfur, which is good for your hair and nails also. Uh, Polish Home Alternative Medicine recommends it as a compress for bruises and ulcerations. Um, Covering yourself with warm cabbage leaves isn't gross or dangerous, and it's much less stinky than a vinegar compress. So uh, that's what you do. Um, really? Yeah, well, for bruises definitely. and ulcerations, yeah. Covering yourself so you, with warm cabbage leaves. So if you have like a cut or, or a sore, yeah. you know, they put a warm cabbage leaf on Yeah, it. there you go. Well, dang. That, well, see, I, you know, some of these is like they, they sound like kind yeah. of, you know, triggered things like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But then there's a little like, what the? Bleep? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? How about beer? Last but not least, beer is recommended to nursing mothers in Poland. Oh, um, really? Yeah. To calm the baby. Beer stimulates lactation, just like any non-alcoholic oh. drink. Um, so, yeah. Well, I wonder if it, like, knocks the baby out, too, so it can... <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, so there you go. Some uh, Polish wisdom there. Um, Jeff, are you still listening? 
Yoo-hoo. Redneck Jeff. <laughs> I was going to ask you, because I know there's a couple of things that he knows from the South. Oh, yes. At other places, you know, people don't, you know, not that you don't hear of it. But, right, yeah, you but know, you don't. Yeah, well, the truth is just, you don't. It's just different things. Like he was telling me like some kind of bait for the catfish and different things to catch, you know, catch fish and like which ones are better. and There he is. Stuff like that. Oh, there he is. Hey, um, you were telling me the other day about some kind of bait for catfish. Well, what's the best bait in your eyes? To, when you go fishing, what's the best bait? Yes. He is like, he is like the fisherman extraordinaire. So. Hey, you know what bass like? I've, I've caught several big mouth bass. You know what they like? What's that? Bacon. Really? <laughs> yep. And it's already got flavor. Your fish yep. is already flavored. Yep. Bacon. I like that. Bacon. I kid you not. You know, they're just raw bacon. You hook it on there, and they smell it for like miles. It works for me. I don't know. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah. That, no, that's good. It works for I remember me. being a kid, and I watched this episode. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I had watched this episode of Little House on the Prairie, and I'm not even joking you. And <laughs> the, the little girl, Laura, she yeah. was using dough balls. She said, dough balls, yep. Balls. And I had tried that, and it worked so good. Yes, dough balls. Yeah, my dad used to use those. Trot line goldfish. Trot chicken line. livers. Okay. Mm. Yeah, chicken livers. Yeah. Night line. Yeah. Top line, rod and reel, chicken liver. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, chicken livers. Yeah, I so found bacon. Big ma- uh, bass like bacon. I don't know why. So you're using a fish to catch a fish. I like that. Chicken livers. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, dough balls. I remember my dad using dough balls. Um, then when we got the, we had boats and stuff, we came out here to Lake Erie to fish. It was... Um, uh, what you call it? Oh gosh, darn it! I'll think of it. I had a you know tip of my tongue. About. That's all that matters. Yep. <laughs> Bass love goldfish too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ah. Interesting. They're cheap too. And what about catfish? What's the best thing to catch catfish? You like he, these in the south? I want to know the catfish secrets yes. here. I'll have to try the goldfish. Minnows. Minnows, of course. Minnows. Minnows. Yep. They're like little gold. Brim or perch? Live crickets. I use live crickets. Ooh. Okay. Also, he's just giving us a rundown of all the fish. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so we have trout lake goldfish. Yeah. Tight line, rod and leave little chicken livers. Bass love goldfish, too, he says. Yeah. And, and Denise said... Uh, um, dough balls and what else? Uh, bacon. 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 And then we have live crickets. He says, I use live crickets. The reason I'm bringing up the fishing is because it's the season. It's fish yeah, in the yeah we're starting you know? to get fishermen in here. Yeah. Um, in case you're wondering, I live right on Lake Erie and in well, northern and I Ohio. Right the, and I live by the Shiners, lake. yeah. Yeah, Shiners. He says, it's trout line, I use goldfish or Shiners. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I live also by the the big lake here. So yeah, we're, we're, so we're, we're starting. We're right, around, we're right around the Great Lakes regions yep. here. So yep, and I'm plus right. where I live, there's lakes and rivers and good. Oh, jobs. if it's not rod and reel, use chicken livers. Okay, okay, goldfish okay. or shiners. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I like I said, bass. I, for whatever reason, I've caught two huge ones, and um, it's been with bacon. Go figure. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, don't forget, this time of year, too, they're going to start with the derbies and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Within a, month, within a month or two, of the work, they're going to start with the derbies. Definitely take your kids out, teach them to fish. We, we've said yes. this so many times. Teach your children, even if it's just simple, like yeah. fishing. And, you know, if you even if it's a fish, stick. They'll always have food. Yeah, a stick and a line. There you go. Yep. Teach them how to fish, and they will always have food. So that's always a good, good thing there. 
um, this time of year also, gardening. Yes. Even if, even if you live in an apartment or a small whatever, let your kids have like a window garden, you know, anything. So they can, they can, okay, um, he says. I'm going to waste <laughs> bacon on bass. Yeah, I, you know, get the, you know, get the cheap stuff. I get the cheap stuff. I get the cheap stuff, the cheap bacon, you know, the, you know, the, the cheap bacon. I like that. He says he ain't wasting, he ain't wasting bacon on that. He says he loves bacon. <laughs> well, get the cheap stuff. So there you go. That works. You want to hear some more about insects and weather a little bit? Sure. Okay. Did you know for fair weather? Spiders weaving their webs during the middle of the day indicates continued good weather. Oh. There you go. Fire, uh, lightning bugs, fireflies in great numbers indicate fair weather. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. He says he's yeah. poor. He only uses the cheap stuff. I hear you. <laughs> he only eats the cheap stuff. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. I, I know. Okay. Um, when spiders' webs in air, oh, here's a, here's a poem to go by. When spiders' webs in air do fly, the spell will soon be very dry. Oh, when spider webs are wet with dew, that soon dries, expect a fine day. Uh, frog singing in the evening indicates fair weather the next day. Here's something about ants. I didn't know this. Ants scatter in fair weather. Okay, and when the stormy weather's coming, they'll travel in straight lines. Did you know that? No, I did not. And they close their ant holes before storms. Now, I, I know that about, like, like bees and wasp nests, too. Like, if there's going to be, like, yeah. it could be sunny outside. If you see, like, bees or wasps, like, frantically trying to yeah. reinforce their nest, there's yeah. going to be bad weather that yeah. night. Yeah, and when the, it's going to be clear weather, they open their holes. Wow. Ants are really busy just before a rain. If they're building up their mounds, just like you said, the bees and wasps, their nests, um, it indicates rain soon. Oh, this is not good. What? When cockroaches fly, expect rain. I better not ever see a flying cockroach. I got oh, news no, for you. No, I don't. No. Listen, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Cockroaches flying. No, thank you. Um, here, the louder the frogs, the more the rain. I have heard that one. Yeah, I didn't know that one. I have heard that one, that one frogs are like extremely loud. Oh, here that, we go. Here, you know, you're talking about hornets and, um, things like that. When hornets build their nests near the ground, it's going to be a cold and early winter. Oh. There's something to look for this year just to see. Yeah. Yeah. So when hornets build their nests closer to the ground, expect a cold and early winter. That's interesting. I like that one. Hmm. Well, there's something too with the 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 fuzzy caterpillars. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> they start. They the start woolly woolly cal woolly cal woolly bear caterpillars. Is that what they are? Yeah, something like that. If they start building their cocoons early, yeah, it's going to be a yeah cold winter. Yeah, so interesting. Spider folklore. Mm. Wow. I like that one. Spider webs. Uh, yeah. See, this is what I love. I love like, Oh, there the it is. I I'm love sorry. these kind of shows that we're doing. Yeah. Um, woolly worms. The woolly uh, bears um, claim forecast winter weather. Uh, they have black and brown bands. More black than brown indicates a harsh cold winter. More brown than black points toward a mild winter. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who knew? I wonder if that's how Farmer's Almanac is. <laughs> yeah, it must be. The woolly bear caterpillar. I remember the guy um, on the weather here. He used to do the weather in Cleveland all the time. And he also he always went by the woolly bear caterpillars. He always did. That's interesting. Now yeah. they go by computers. They go, any, many, many, mo. Well, yep. the European computer says it. <laughs> yep, a woolly bear caterpillar. So if there's more brown on them, there, it's going to be a mild winter. Wasp larva, yeah, I'll get that. Not. Um, He's a makes uh, excellent. Rick, Jackson, wasp larvas make excellent fish bait too. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you get them. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Thanks. 
Huh. How do you even get wasp larvae? Yeah, I don't, I, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Stick your hand in there and get it. Okay, yeah. So lots Can of interesting interesting things. Yogurt. That That's still in my head. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, inserting yeah. yogurt inside <laughs> your hoo-ha, that's just like... <laughs> no, no, just no, no, yeah. carefully, yeah, I bet carefully. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll pass on that one, thank you, anyway. Yeah, but that yogurt thing, yeah, I'm, yeah, no. And then, like, that whole frozen thing is like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, wow. <laughs> Freeze it with the yogurt in the applicator. Yeah, okay. Get right on that. Thank God I don't get those. Thank God I don't get those. Thank, oh, oh I can't, you know, oh. Uh, let me get some yogurt. Go get me some yogurt for that. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll never be able to eat yogurt again. Thanks, lady. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You're a redneck. You never eat yogurt. Yeah, there you go. You're eating wasp larva and chicken livers. And <laughs> I like yogurt. I'll eat yogurt. It, this is the natural, unflavored, non-sweetened yogurt. So I just won't eat that. That's okay. You're welcome, though. Do you put the yogurt on your meat and potatoes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. But you're welcome. Yeah, that's just I can't get that out of. That's gonna be in my head for a few days yeah, now. I had read that. I was like, well, you know, I don't know. Is it nah? When I brought it up. I was hoping when you researched it before, but it's true. Yeah, not, yeah, not gonna happen. Wrong. I'm like, ooh, you uh, know. Yeah, for those of you tuning in late, well, there's a <laughs> there's people out there that are inserting yogurt yeah. into their lady parts. Yes. To cure a yeast infection. You better and have a five to gallon scoop bucket. It up with your fingers and put it up in there. Yeah. And check this one out. An uh, 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 empty yeah. tampon cartridge. Yes. And then search down. Now ask yourself this How does a tampon cartridge get empty? I don't want to know. <laughs> I, you know, I, that's not it. Okay. It's like, get up, get up, get up. Get yeah, up. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I like your idea then, better. Do you have a turkey it, baster? It, 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 there you go. Worse than that. They're telling you to freeze it. Yes. Yes. To freeze it. And then... Woo. And then <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I I can't... No. I I just can't eat. No. <laughs> How much yogurt are you going to need? <laughs> a, Did they come in five-gallon buckets or what? Meat. My mind went somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere totally different. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I need yogurt. I need a five gallon bucket. Look, that's what I said. He put it on eat your meat and potato. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not the one that never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's just gross. I mean, seriously. I mean, but it doesn't tell you how much you're going to need. Again, I mean, it says just a scoop of up. Well, what if you got like man hands or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, but I, is one I've, do, got, is, I've got tiny, I've got little tiny hands. We're like, what if you got man hands? I mean, how do you know exactly how much? This, yeah, it doesn't say that, and it doesn't say how, how often you have to do this. It, I don't yeah. think one thing's going to, like, cure it all. I right, wouldn't. I don't, I, yeah. Yeah, how many do you need? A dozen of them or what? Dose? <laughs> yeah, I, give us some info here. <laughs> How much yogurt do I need? <laughs> I'm going to go into Kroger's well, the next day, and I'm going to ask if I can order a five-gallon bucket of it, just to see what they say. See if I can get it. <laughs> yeah, that might be a business, man. Get some cartridges <laughs> and get yep. some yogurt in those bad boys. Hey, and yep. Sell them on, <laughs> sell them on <laughs> Craigslist. There you go. <laughs> Oh my God, that's just freaking crazy! I I just can't imagine anybody doing that. Well, I, have you? Well, this is okay. This is speaking. Well, we're doing you know natural cures, yeah, home right. remedies, stuff like that. There are people out there, and I'm not even joking you. They use sea sponges 
as tampons, and they take them out, and they rinse them off, and they reuse them. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. No. Why? But they say it's, they say it's, it's all sanitary, it's all friendly, you know, I don't yeah, know. It's friendly? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, seriously, seriously. Get I have heard that. that. Yes. Google, Google, sea sponge tampon. I'm totally serious. Okay, it I'm is doing insane. it. Insane. That's nuts. Oh, yep, there it is. Natural sea tampons. Wow, those are like. Yeah. I'm those saying, are I'm like. Going. Yeah. They look like little rocks. So, so reusable. They, they, they yeah. Killed SpongeBob, so yeah. you can reuse the tampon. <laughs> I don't get it. Ew. <laughs> Make it your period easier. Okay, thanks. Sea pearl, sea sponge tampons. No lie, guys. Oh yeah. my god. Yep, and they're, they're supposed to be reusable. Excuse me. Yeah, I know. Wow, pearls plus. What is that all about? Pearls Plus. Extra large and firm. Okay, thank you for... I just said, God, that's what the box says. <laughs> I'm going to send you... you got to see this. This is, this is freaking hilarious. It says sea pearls. <laughs> reusable sea sponges. No chemicals, bleach, chlorine. It's just a sponge. Pearls Plus. Extra large and firm. Okay. <laughs> I care God. <laughs> What's the difference between Jade and Pearl, may I, may I ask? I don't, I don't know. I'm afraid to even look. But this one I'm talking about home remedies, folk remedies. Like people are doing this. I mean, this is yes. not even, I mean, this is like no joke. Kids, no. This is, they, not some, this is not some 1920 stuff that, that, no. that, that was invented by, by some mountain man on drugs. <laughs> Yes, this is a real thing, and yes. I just going on as okay, we speak. okay. So it's saying reusable, right? You can wash them out, but then you, they're not natural. Then if you can wash them out, right? Well, I guess it's a sponge, so maybe. <laughs> maybe oh, yeah, oh, they have. Listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. This is good, and this is an actual site, guys. Go to Sea Pearls. You know, like she okay, said. I gotta see. It says actual size is teeny, medium, and large. I'm like, okay. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm going here now. I got to see it. Hermit okay. crab sea sponge. Yeah, no. Oh, wow. Yeah. You think? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Teeny, medium, but, and large. But where's the string for it? I I don't think there I, is. How, how do you get it out? <laughs> Use your hand, man hands. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, everybody just turned it off like, okay. Yeah, that's enough of this. We're done. Um, yeah, oh, hermit crab sea sponges. Oh, no. I think I'll pass. Hermit crab sea sponges. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is that not, that is crazy. We're going to have to post that on the, on the Facebook Yeah, page. no large. No, I sent you the big ad there. It says extra large and firm. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yep. That's insanity. I don't know. I guess, how do you decide what size you need? I don't know. Measuring tape? Got me. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. That's a good one. I have no clue. Well, I, I guess <laughs> maybe by, by like sizes, like the, the, they have sizes in stores for those. So yeah, maybe yeah, like true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, uh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, there's no, there's no uh, strings there, guys. So there you go. Yeah, I, I, mm. I, I just, yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just read an advertisement. This is totally off the subject. Sea clouds. There, they it call was, them sea clouds. It was it was through that, that website you had. There was an ad, and I'm sorry, it said, it's <laughs> Avengers Endgame, oh. likely to be Stan Lee's finally cam, final cameo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh. Um, <laughs> wow. 
wow, I don't know about people, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> these are crazy. I have, I have, I've heard it, but I've not seen it till now. Yeah, there, there's some crazy stuff out there that people are actually doing. Apparently. Well, I guess that's why they need the yogurt then. I guess so. <laughs> Quit using the sea sponges. <laughs> I, I, wow. They're, they're using these reusable things and they're getting stuff. That can't, <laughs> that cannot be good. But I, I don't know. I, I have no research on it. I me have either. No, I do not know. They're supposed okay, reusable. But if they're natural and whatever, they're not after you wash them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So how good is that? Like you can't just use water. Come on. Gosh, <laughs> he says, "How do you decide what size you need?" Like any man is gonna say, "You need water." <laughs> 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 okay, uh, here's uh, here's somebody. Um, this is a testimony on these sea sponges. I got to hear this. Okay, okay. and yeah, this let, is let, what let, happened. Let's hear the reviews. Okay, you when go. you hear the word sponge, you think of a lot of things. Doing the dishes, SpongeBob, you probably don't think of it. Jane and Pearl kindly sent me a sample of their sea pearls. Sea <laughs> pearls are completely natural sea sponges. That come from the actual real ocean. The real ocean, I might add. The real ocean, not the fake one. Okay, yeah, that's right. Each sea pearl is washed, inspected, trimmed, trimmed, and packaged by the expert sponge squad. I kid you not, it says sponge. There is an expert sponge squad? I kid you not, that is what it says. ESS, okay. Yes, (laughs) ESS. The detailed care that goes into each sponge ensures we continue providing the <laughs> high quality sea sponges we have offered for the past 40 years. Um, interestingly enough, this person said, I couldn't find any actual mention of what the sponges are actually used for. The words period, blood, and flow were nowhere to be found. <laughs> um, or on the pamphlet that came with the sample. I couldn't help but think of the stigma surrounded with these words like, come on, folks. Let's not dance around. Um, but I couldn't help but be excited. After reading about the origin of the sponges, I, I was truly hoping using an actual spe- sea sponge, now get this, would make me feel like a mermaid. Is that, that is seriously an actual review? Yes, I am screenshotting it for you. I kid you not. Oh, Lord, we uh, need a okay. I'm telling you, we need a comment. so so it would make her feel like a um, mermaid so i let jay and pearl know for reference that i wear regular size and they sent me two medium sponges okay looks a little square scary but it compresses quite easily i swear um you can purchase a premium ultra soft sponge which comes from the mediterranean sea oh hey the fancy sea (laughs) <laughs> um, they also do the environment a solid thing. They're reusable for up to six months or more. No. Six months? Yeah, I don't think so. They're easy to clean. Use a chemical-free soap, mixture of tea tree oil, vinegar, baking soda, soda and hydrogen peroxide. Dear God. So then you're going to stick that back yeah. up in your Yeah, with all that on it, mind you. Yeah, tea tree oil. Yeah. Oh, I um, to rinse it, but God, how do you even rinse that? I, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Um, sponges are known for their absorbency. However, with a bit of research, most gynecologists think they're totally safe if used properly. What? Yeah. I, my conscience oh, yeah. comforted. Like, they must be smoking something. Yeah. <laughs> my conscience comforted. I went into this confidently and channeled my inner mermaid, and there's a... G I F a Giphy of a of Ariel. So there you go. After cleaning my sponge, I found unlike menstrual cups, there isn't some specific way to insert it. No instructions. Okay. Um, it conforms to your body and goes right up. There you go. But however, however, felt qu- no. It just conforms to your body and goes right up. She says. Um, however, it was felt quite uncomfortable, like I was using too large of a tampon and very dry. Uh, but after about half an hour, after it had, well, oh, God, soaked for a while. Thanks <laughs> oh for telling us that. Um, okay, oh, 
okay, 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 okay. We got the picture. <laughs> yeah, but a minor issue presented itself when I went to take it out. It's rather difficult to tell the difference between a damp sponge and your body. Okay. Oh, my God, so she got her bandy hands on Yes, her. taking oh the sponge God. out is not a clean process. Oh, dear uh, God. Okay. Uh, so, okay, it's like this, people. If you want to use this, it's your prerogative. It's yes. not for me. Thank no. you, and I'll sit. <laughs> yes. She's not using it. Let's put it this way. She went back to her menstrual cup. So. Oh, but, yeah, she tried it, and she's like, yep, no. That's gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> right there, Jess, I am so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Really? Like, Why? more uncomfortable, because if, for those of you who don't know what a menstrual cup is, they use these even way back yeah. in the 1800s before yeah. they had things, other things, and it's a cup that you insert up there, and it catches the flow, and you rinse it out and clean it and put it, yeah, so. Yeah, no. Just in case you didn't know, but yeah, yeah that, that's still a no for me. Yeah, yeah, a no for me too. Um, so sea sponges, there's no easy way to put it up or out. So there you go. Uh, okay, so yep, no. Yeah, this is a real thing people yes. are doing. Like I said, it's your prerogative. Yes, it might be. It might be pleasant. It might be great. It might be something that hey, I'm just missing out on. But it just does not sound like for me. So I'm no. going to pass. But I'm sure. Yeah, maybe somebody, are yeah. Channel their inner mermaid and yes. for it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but the idea yeah, that. I'm okay. sure you're going to smell like Ariel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Sebastian, I'm not sure. But that's okay. <laughs> you're Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, that was. Uh, um, learning experience. Yeah, like I said, it's hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever yeah. is, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure for other people, it's perfectly lovely. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I've never, never used it. I can't say. <laughs> but of okay. all things, wow. So they, okay, now so I, that's a hard act to follow. Plug, even if we were laughing at you, you got a free plug. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah, that makes no sense, you know, no string, no no ugh. I'll pass. Okay. Use it with the yogurt. And can you know. Okay. Are we still being sponsored by the way? I forgot to ask you. Oh, as far as I know. I did okay. at the beginning. Okay. Sponsored by King's Cannabis. Yeah, it didn't show up on there. Oh, Yes, I, mean, I did. On the, on, on the title. Oh, yeah, I usually put oh, it yeah. on there. Speaking of plugging, we have to give a big shout out to our sponsor, King's Cannabis. Yes, absolutely. They are awesome. They, they sponsor all of our shows here on KBLP LLC. They sponsor us, those lovely people that. Fred Nick just like, OMG, shaking my head. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah I'm with you. Oh, we um, both are. <laughs> so, mm. But yeah, we, we like to, to thank our sponsor. They are awesome. They sponsor all of us. They keep us going. And I'm, and yeah, so. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? What? I did forget to post it. Burn it. Oh, and, and, well, and I got that's it. Gonna, that, that's going to lead us to our final thing for the night. Guess what's good for just about everything? Water. I don't know what. Well, water is one thing, but guess what? what kind of herb is herb or weed is very good for just about anything? Cannabis. That's right. You know it. Yes, it's true. It'll help your brain. It can help your body. I mean, yes. if you're a up, it doesn't do it for you. It does do it for you. But I know a lot of people it yes. does do it for. Um, you know, yeah, especially eat, with uh, cancer patients. Comfort, yes, comfort. Yes, people with chronic pain. Um, not to mention the fact that the hemp that, that grows our lovely can can make paper and yep. even cars, by the way, and all kinds of things. Well, I was just discussing this the other day, too, with Redneck Jeff about cars. Okay. You can make a car. And by the way, they actually made one in the 1920s out of hemp. Did they? Hemp plastic. Yes, wow. they did. Wow, cool. So they've known about this for a very long time, but unfortunately, our country runs on petroleum. So yes. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's that's life, you know. Yeah. Life, we you know. But still, hemp can save trees. So. Yeah. So. So. By pot. 
<laughs> yep, there you go. Support these people. But yeah, it, it's 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 a lot of a lot of cures for the same thing. Just like aspirin, same thing. Aspirin is something, even though it's been you know evil, become evil now and demonized by yes. many. People. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because anything yeah. that we're talking about, again, talk to your doctor. Mm-hmm. Talk to talk to you know your health official whoever make sure you're all set for this but aspirin's another thing that relieves many many things oh yeah so i can't take it though i can guarantee you if aspirin was put out this day and age that they would have never pushed it through because yeah. because in fact it does treat so many things oh yeah it treats pain it treats inflammation um, um it keeps your blood thin it, <laughs> you know so been known to uh these commercials claim that it can you know help you if you're having a heart attack take an aspirin it can maybe yes. prolong your life a little bit longer until yep. you get help so possibly we have to use these words possibly yes. and, you know like i said anything see your doctor 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 yes how many times do we got to say doctor in this physician doctor doctor physician yes make sure you tell him or her anything that you're about to do and get their approval first if not, you're on your own. <laughs> so. There you go. What you looking up? You got quiet. I was like, I'm typing. <laughs> I'm typing. Yeah, I for, him, I'm putting right it up. Yeah, it says him, him could replace a lot of stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. So many things. So many things. It's, it's not even... It's not even funny. No. Use it and soap, shampoo. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Um, the Testament, you know, and then then you've got the cannabis itself, or you can you know not now they have the CBD oil that you can get yes. with the, the CBD. CBD. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Or the cream. They have a cream too. And I'm not, and I'm like I said, we don't endorse anything no. here. We're telling you what other people. Yeah, we're telling you what's out there. Yeah. We're telling you what's out there and what's available to you, and you make your own choices. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So, but I think we covered a lot tonight. Oh yeah, more than we probably should have, but yes, we did. <laughs> we to a few places we did not. Yeah, we go. did go there. But sorry, Under but the sea being one of them. Yep. Yep. And that's Bungie Moon and the Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's great. I love it. Okay. Yeah. We that was interesting to say the least. You want to find out anything you don't want to know. This is a place to be. Definitely. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so we good. will bring it up, I guarantee you. Yeah. yeah, we we will go there, trust me. Yep. So <laughs> but if there's anything y'all want to know about or anything yes. we'll find answers for you. Um all any we go to uh to uh on facebook planet b period o period b period on facebook go there we'll have information for you any questions you want to ask go there and ask that question yes absolutely we'll be glad to uh, answer you yeah and, uh, kblp llc on facebook and also kblp llc4 on youtube absolutely uh, check us out. also check out survival wolves and innate survival. There's so many things. There, there's some good stuff on there. So just go check out these sites. Absolutely. And, oh, and I would ask you, would it be okay if I made Jeff an admin in the Planet Bob? Yeah, go for it. That way he can start helping us out there. So. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I reference him a lot, anyways. You know, he might as well be getting some recognition for. Him. Absolutely. <laughs> So there we go. He'll be an admin there. Y'all Yay! Welcome, Jeff. <laughs> Yay! So, most definitely. Yeah, I've been having a lot of information I get from him. So Yeah, that's great. Great. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, you know me, I always give the recognition. If somebody gives me it, I will, I will definitely oh, yeah, give yeah. them the credit for it. So. Yep, she will. So, yeah, and that's another thing. If you have any ideas, anything that you want us to talk about on the show, we will do it. Yeah, absolutely. As long as it pertains to survival and different things like that, yeah, we don't, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear 
you know more about sponges or yogurt. Yeah, well, that was survival. I mean... Well, it, is, it really is survival. Yeah. If you think about it, because yogurt is something that you can really make yourself. And yeah. Or, you know, you know, you know it, it's something because, it, you know, you go to the store, say something, you know, the end happened. What are you going to use? Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, it's an alternative. It's something you can make yourself. Yeah, it's an alternative. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. The plain yogurt is absolutely something you can just make your own yogurt. So. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. It's definitely an alternative because you just don't know. Not one I would personally use unless mm. I actually yeah. had to. Yes, absolutely. I'm just glad I'm not that, you know, one of those that does get those because, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That would be so uncomfortable, to say the least. But anyway, yeah, it's a good alternative for, you know, survival. Absolutely. But just like the sponges, I mean, for survival use, yeah, I could see it. Yeah. Um, there's different things. Well, plus they have those other things that... Oh, yeah. I don't want to go into, you know, the reusable, like, panties and pads and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that made out of cloth. So, yeah, definitely. Go check into that yourself. And yeah. We'll discuss... The poor Jeff, now he's like, oh, God, my ears are bleeding. But <laughs> 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 yeah, he's probably going to be like, oh, my God, what is wrong with you two? <laughs> well, hey, women's survival is part of that. I mean, that's just something, you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll have to live with, but no, the, sometimes it's a little TMI even for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I would have never, ever. Nope. Ever, ever thought of that. Ever. Ever, ever. But there you go. It's out there for sure, so. I was going to say something to that, something about that. Hmm. I'll think of it. Oh, yeah. Is there anything you want to add for tonight? No, I think I've said enough for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've said enough. Yes. No, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Today. Yeah. No, now, I'm, now I'm going to use my calm, non-crazy voice. Okay. We have definitely went there tonight. Yes. We have. Most definitely. And beyond. <laughs> Way beyond, yes. Yes. Well, yes. it's out there when we aim to please. We'll tell you everything that's out there for sure. <laughs> he says that y'all have room, yogurt, and Spongebob for me. So. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Not. <laughs> well, deal. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. yeah well. <laughs> Anyways, definitely check us out and, you know, go go check out the Facebook pages. Check out, you know, go go check out us. Ch check us out on YouTube. There's different shows. And also at KBLP LLC, like I said, you can go there and look at all the oh, yeah. links to all the shows, to the freaks, to... to that might be a good show for you to listen to, too, Jeff, because it has oh, a lot yeah. of good yeah. hard rock music. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a redneck into hard rock. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. It's all good. Yep, it is. So, I'm going to let you talk for a minute. i got to yeah, me, me, too. I'm into it, too. But, yeah, definitely go to KBLP LLC on Facebook. Get all the links. Get shows. Um, you might find a couple interesting things there that ideas are station owner. Uh post he's definitely into some weird stuff so okay it's yeah. up to you if you're into that yeah. yep there's <laughs> our show yep. <laughs> yep there we are we're right up there um yeah yeah check out the encounter shows if you like weird stuff yes and absolutely ecto. um encounters of the strange kind denise does that show and sometimes we do a combo show yeah. with ecto are we doing combo this weekend or not um this coming weekend no okay I'm going to end up having to pre-record my show and put it on. Okay. Now, I have a choice. I'm going to either do... Um, so I think I might... Out. Either Aliens or the Bermuda Triangles around the world. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, that's yeah, pretty definitely. interesting, actually. I think, I think that'll be really interesting. So, oh, yeah, one, you know, definitely one of them this week. Yeah, I'll pre-record Ecto, I think, on Friday, and then I'll just post it on Saturday, like, sometime in the afternoon. Excuse me, yeah. Um, the past couple of weeks, guys, we apologize. It hasn't yeah. been the best for, 
either one of us. <laughs> like, well, we've both had issues, whether it be medical issues, personal right. issues. Lots of things going on. We we've kept the planet Bob going, but right. other shows we've kind of lacked on. But we are getting back on track. Yes. So please bear with us, and yes. we will we will keep it going. I've got some really good ghost stories to oh, tell. Oh, I can't uh, wait. Yes, yes. Something happened um, just the other day, and I'll I'll talk about it next. Okay. It was wild. Ooh. So. <laughs> can't wait. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Um, tomorrow night, join me for TWD, the finale. Oh, my God. Oh, I know. I wish I could so bad. I wanted to. I know. I know. I loved it. I loved yes. it. I loved it. I loved yes, it. you and me both. I wish you could be with me. Absolutely. Oh, that, would, that would be so cool to be able to be on that podcast. I know. I, it. I, I want you to be so bad. Um, shit. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell him to we just call off. Them. Tell him you'll be a little late. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be there because, um, yeah, I'm going to be late doing the podcast yeah. for the one yeah. day. What time do you go to work? <laughs> Ten. Hmm. Let me see if I can get you earlier. We'll see. Unless yeah, you're well, wa- you watching the kids tomorrow? Well, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we can do an early, yeah, pre-record an early one. Absolutely. We'll yeah. Anyways, yeah. people are still listening here. They're yes. like, what are they talking about? Um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. you all have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll and catch Ecto on Saturday with Michelle. Totally awesome. So be sure to check yeah, Ecto, Ecto out. And these are all true, true yeah. stories of people that stuff has happened to. So yeah. definitely, whether it be myself or other people, there's, yeah, all these stories are true. Well, they tell me they're true. You know, I yeah. can't prove it, of course. But, right, you know. but they're very cool. <laughs> it's creepy. Encounters of the strange kind with Denise. Ooh, yep. She'd be doing Bermuda Triangle and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yep, yep. Bermuda Triangles around the world. Uh, he mentioned one of the Nevada Triangle. And then, of yes. course, Friday. Yes. What else is coming on Friday after Hollywood Review? Uh, and? Freaks. In, In the, the basement. basement. <laughs> That's right. The best show, yes, absolutely. I miss you doing that. I cannot do it. So you're the best at it. Um, Yeah, you can't. He has new bands every week. I don't know where he finds the time for this because I sure can't find time. Yeah, he he does a really good show. Yeah. Really, really good long show. And then Saturday after Encounters and Ecto, Ecto, we're going to have Ideas back. Yeah. I believe that's what he said, isn't it? I that's what I thought. Yeah, I uh, ideas. Um, ideas. Yeah. Ah, ah, ideas. Yeah. <laughs> with a jam. With a jam, yeah. Yeah, with a jam. Yeah, that's it. When's oh, Zach on? Again by King's Cannabis, huh? Zach, when's he on? I believe Sunday. he is on Sunday mornings or Monday mornings. Morning. There you go. Check him Zach out. Zach's on too. whenever he could, but definitely check that out because he yeah. does sort of Vlad Brad. I mean, it is, he, I mean, he talks and talks and talks. It's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, and it's like, and he does nonstop. I mean, and he, he has a lot of opinions about a lot of things. So okay. definitely check him out. There you go. There you go. Sounds good. Y'all Very think good. I talk? Do you y'all think I can talk? Oh, oh no. <laughs> you know, I'm nothing on Zach wants. <laughs> oh, yeah. You no. Know, got nothing on you for sure. Okay. I ain't got nothing on him. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You got nothing on him. Whoa, yeah. I have to kind of go back and listen sometimes. I do too. Like, when I listen to his shows, I'll have to rewrite a little bit. Okay. Oh, crap. That is what he said. Yeah. (laughs) So definitely check these shows out. You kissed your mother with that mouth? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. Um, check them out. You uh, check all these shows out. You will not be disappointed. And of course, we are sponsored by King's Cannabis. So cannabis, cannabis. So enjoy. I hope you had a good time tonight because we sure did. All right, we always do. do. Yeah, we always do. I don't know. People are listening. Like, what are they? Yeah, what was wrong with those two? Well, if you got time, we'll tell you. Well, we like survival. We like to have fun. There's no sense in not combining the two. There you go. There, there you go. Absolutely. So, thanks everybody for listening. Thanks, Jeff, for being in the chat. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming over. Yes. It's always nice to have somebody in there. He just 
you say the Nevada Triangle? Is there a Nevada Triangle? Is that real? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Really? Yes. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. There's Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Triangles all over the world. So. Oh, I can yeah. check into that. Yeah, definitely. It's, um, of course, we'll get into it Saturday. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that then, since he yeah, brought it up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Get some stuff done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if y'all have not listened to Encounters, you need to. Denise does some crazy research, and she, she gets <laughs> into it. Yeah, it's it's good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And don't forget Ecto before that. Um, as she yes, comes, so I don't know. These stories, some of them are creepy. Some are creepy I, funny. Yeah. I, I've had people tell me things a lot. I was like, thanks for what? I had a slip for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I sleep with the light out of the cross <laughs> beside my bed. Yes. Uh, I can't go buy a water tower now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Maria? She says she drives three blocks out of her way so she don't have to go near the water tower. That's <laughs> that one story. <laughs> yeah, some of them are downright creepy. They really are, and it's like, wow. You know yeah. that woman divorced that ghost, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, the woman who married the ghost and was going to have its baby, yeah. she divorced him. Yeah. He was cheating on her. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was short lived. Yeah. <laughs> crazy stuff. So, anyway, hope you guys had a good time. We sure did. Thanks for listening. Have a Thank great rest guys. of the night. And um, any last words, Michelle? Nope. Just everybody have a good night and be safe. And yes. we'll see you in a few weeks. Okay. Peace out, y'all. All right. Night. <laughs>